This week we're going to make this cool Zelda inlay piece with Ben and we're going to be using the shop bot. So let's get started. And you're going to need two pieces of wood. One is walnut and I think the other one is just a common board. So first we're going to measure the things to size and we're going to cut down the walnut so we can work with it. Um, the pieces are pretty big so we're just going to cut it on the crosscut sled. The crosscut sled comes in really handy for this type of stuff. It makes it really easy to use. And then we're going to cut the other wood. Same process again. So on both pieces of wood, we're going to drill some holes, holes in it, and we're going to use these holes to attach screws to the waste board. And the waste board is the board right now underneath on the shop butt, so that cheaper piece of wood. And we're just going to drill four holes for our four screws. And we're going to do this with both pieces of wood. You want the holes to be at the edges so it doesn't get in the way of the bit that's going to go on the shop bot. Once that's done, now we're going to put it onto that waste board. So here a piece of cracks, but that's okay. You don't need it to be perfect. Next we're going to level it. You use this piece of metal right here to level the shop bot. It's going to go down, touch it, create a circuit, and then you're just going to put it back to make sure that connect that circuit's closed. Once that's done, you just start the shop bot. We're not going to go into all the instructions on the bits and things like that. Um, you're going to kind of have to learn it on your own. And it's going to be specific to your piece of wood you're using and to the project you're doing. But here we're going to use your smaller bit first just to clear it out a little bit. I believe we're using the V-carve right now. And you're going to see how fast it goes. So I was pretty shocked how fast it goes and how fast it works. Then we're going to change bits. So we're going to unplug the key right there drop this base right here onto the piece of wood so we have access to the bit. Once we have access to the, access to the bit, to the bit, the bit, it's going to loosen it. it. Takes a little bit of force and you're going to unscrew it. And then you're going to be able to put your new mill in. He's going to tighten it up a little bit and then we're going to be ready to go again. You do want to make sure that it's on there tight. If it's a little bit loose, you're going to come you're going to have a lot of issues with it and it may fall off and it may give you a lot of trouble. So you want to make sure it's tightly on there. Now we're going to put that piece again. Plug back in the key. I know it's weird, but and start cutting again. Again, we're going to level it. Remember, it creates that circuit and it knows its level. And then our second piece is going to cut. So it's cutting. We're we're leaving that piece on there again, and it's going to cut. Um, it's going to cut more out. So it's just a more efficient. If you need to cut out more space, you're going to use a bigger bit. And if you need to cut out less space, you're going to use a smaller one. Now we're going to screw in our second piece of wood. So one, this piece is the positive, and then the walnut was the negative. So this piece is going to have. Um, things coming out of it, another one we're going to put it into that. Here's it going. And it's carving out a lot this time. You see it clears out pretty quickly. And now once that's done, we're going to change the bit again to get that more precise bit on the V-carve. And then going through the same process, tightening it, leveling it, and then cutting away. So this is a pretty cool shot. You see how fast it's going and how it's working. And there's the positive right there for the other half of the Zelda. This one came out pretty nice, but it's not perfect. And Ben had to do some cleanup with a small chisel. You're going to need to do some cleanup on the pieces. Now that's set, we're just going to glue the two pieces together. So the idea is we're going to glue the two pieces together and then we're going to use another saw to cut them in half. There's the positive we're going. 
and you're going to want to spread the glue out a little bit so adhesion's a little better. And now we're going to put them together and we're going to use a bunch of clamps to get the sucker on there. And this is the final product. It looks pretty rad. Ben let it dry overnight and then cut it in half between those two pieces and then just handed it down. So that's a pretty cool project. You can do all this on the shop bot and you can do it at the shop. So I hope you guys try some of this. And if you guys have any questions or comments or would like to see some other stuff, let us know. Thanks. Bye.